What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 27th Python stock charting tutorial. I got a request to show how you could add text and a marker to a chart so you could show maybe when specific uh, news had come out, something that affects the price there. And uh, that's a great request. So here's how we're going to do it. Turns out there's actually a bunch of ways that we can do this, but um, actually matplotlib has a pretty nice built-in annotation function that I think is going to be our best option. It's got a marker, it's got text, and it even has a little bit of logic that just has that perfect finishing touch for us. So that's what we're going to be using. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is where we left off. Um, so if you you know run this, we get to here, it asks us what we want to plot, we uh, tell it what we want to plot, and we get the chart. Now what we want to do is maybe add a bit of text here and be like, oh, something happened here, or something happened here, right? So how will we do that? So let's close out of this. And what we're going to want to do, I think the best time to do this would be at the very end. So um, I guess we'll just do it right here. This has to be before um, you know show, but otherwise there's nothing too important. And where do we obviously want this stuff? Well, we want it on, let me bring it up again real quick. I'll leave it in the background this time just in case I need it again. But we want it on this axis, right? Because this is just the MACD, this is the RSI, this is the price chart. And so like we uh, we want all the annotation to be on this chart. So um, that, if you recall, is actually our uh, axis 1. And AX1V is the volume on axis 1. So the way that we're going to do this is if you were to add text, for example, you would do AX1.txt. But for annotate, it's really complicated. It would uh, it's going to be annotate. I know you guys did not see that coming. And the first parameter in here is going to be what is the text that we're actually going to put in here. So let's just say uh, big news. That's our that's what happened. And then the next parameter is where do you want this? Um, you know, like what are the coordinates for this? So I'm not going to show you guys how to systematically get the coordinates. I mean, if someone really really wants me to I could do the video but I'm not going to do that unless someone really really wants me to because basically all you're gonna to have to do is let's say the let's say the news came out on October 24th 2012 you all you would do is find out what the index value is of October 24th 2012 like what number in the data array is that and then you would use that. And then you would use that exact same number on the next array. So if that's not making any sense, basically you would have this date and then whatever value of that array that date is in, that's what you would put in here. But for now, let's just make up a number. We'll say 510. And then obviously AV1, same thing, the index of 510. So those are the coordinates. Uh, the next thing that we're, or the next parameter is gonna be um, about the text. Now that's like what we're marking, and then we're like from there, where is the text? So this next parameter will be x, y, text. And it's a little more confusing, but basically it's like where that text is going to be like placed from that point. So let me just give an example real quick. So we're going to use point 0.8 and uh, 0 0.8. And I th we'll just come back to this afterwards, but it's kind of like where that text is after that marker. So you kind of move it away from the marker, right? So you wouldn't want it right on that marker. So anyway, I will come back to that so you can understand it better if you don't know already. So you've got x, y text, then you've got text chords equals. And this is a, a little confusing, but basically what it is, is just like what system, um, are you going to use to define your coordinates? And so we're going to use something called uh, axes fraction. And what this basically means is zero, zero. So like zero, zero means the lower left of the axes. And that would, you know, so the top right would be one, one. So, but there's a bunch. There's like figure points, figure pixels, figure fraction, axes points, axle, or axes pixels, and like data or something like that. So anyway, just 
you could look that up if you wanted, but just use axes fraction and just know that zero zero means the bottom left, one one means the top right. So the next thing that we have is arrow properties. So arrow props. And this is going to equal dict, and then you can specify a face color. In our example, I think we should use white. And oops, and then the default line is pretty fat, so we'll say uh, shrink. Actually, let's put this down a little bit. Arrow prop stick face color white, and shrink equals 0 0.05. Next up. Uh, font size, like what's the font size of uh, whatever our text is? We're gonna say font size equals I don't know, 11. Actually, let's make it 14. And then color equals white. The default would be black, and we won't see it. Next thing is now these are. This is where kind of the logic comes in. You have horizontal alignment. So do you want? horizontally on the right or the left, the text, on the right or the left of your um, arrow. And you can, oops, you can say what you want, but if data is in the way, it won't put it over there. So, or maybe if the edge of the axes is in the way, it won't put it over there. So it uses a little bit of logic, um, just so you don't do something stupid. But as long as you're not asking it to do something absurd, uh, it'll it'll uh, abide by what you say. And then vertical, same thing. You can say put it on the bottom or the top. I'm going to say top. And and that's it. I, I don't know what. There we go. I didn't see it to highlight it, but yeah, it's the closing bracket. So let's save that and let's run that. And see what we screwed up. Uh, Yahoo. Oh, I forgot we. I never closed that other plot. That's why it yelled at me. Anyway, AV1. Oh, it said AV1 is not, uh, this is capital AV1. Run it again. Probably going to yell it. Yep. <laughs> anyway, Yahoo. Man, I'm just uh, all about horizontal alignment. Alignment. It's all about the screw ups here. It's going to yell at me again. There it is. Let's try it again. Hopefully no typos. Yay. Okay, so here's our chart now. As you can see, we've got the arrow. Big news. And it turns out there probably was some good news around this time because, bam, went the stock. Nice timing on our uh, arrow there. So anyway, um, that's just the basics. You obviously could pick different colors and stuff. You can make this a different color and this a different color. But um, that's the basics of adding a marker to the chart. And again, um, if you... Oops. If you wanted to do this um, automatically, you would just look for the index value of the date uh, of that news, look for that number in the uh, list, and then just throw that number here and here, and then that would give it uh, give you what you wanted. But um, the kind of, the back end would be doing like news and all that kind of stuff is fairly large, so and everyone's got different news sources and all that stuff, but. Yeah, it is possible. It's especially easy if you connect to like an RSS feed, something like that. And then you can just like automatically store all these like the dates and stuff and just automatically throw it up there and just say like what the title of the article was or something. So anyway, a lot of cool stuff you can do with um, having annotations on your charts. A lot of people like to do it. So that's that. I almost forgot to throw in the examples of XY text, how that works, just in case y'all don't understand yet. Um, so 8A eight, eight currently throws us here, right? And so if you remember, this is 1-1 one, one up here. This would be 0-0. Zero, zero. So if we say 0. 0.5, that's you know basically like right in the middle. So our text will go into the middle. So let's run uh, Yahoo again. And there you see it's basically in the middle now um, because we chose you know 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5. So anyway, that's that's how the Y text uh, or X Y text works. Uh, as always, thanks for your support, your subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and until next time.